two people claim to know everything about something, but only one knows anything. <laughs> President Roosevelt wore an anti-gravity belt. Dinosaurs had two brains. Lucky kids live on Mars and go to school in flying cars. Or at least they will one day. Believe me, I'm a historian. An astronaut or drive a DeLorean. Would I lie? It's hard to say. Hands on fire. Hands on fire. One's a liar. The other is telling the truth. Hands on fire. Hands on fire. It's down to the wire. Can you figure out who's who? Hands on fire. From Last Point Road in East Hampton, New York, this is Pants on Fire. And now, here's your hosting, Deborah Goldstein. <laughs> that does rhyme. Welcome to Pants on Fire, the game show where kids choose between the nitpicking details of well-combed truth and the parasitic, blood-sucking infestation of lies. I'm your host, Deborah Goldstein, and with us today and every day is our robot, Lisa, which stands for Live In-Studio Audience. Except for every third Tuesday. Pardon me? You said I'm here every day, but uh, you seem to forgot that I play competitive hide-and-seek with my robot team every third Tuesday of the month. Oh, right. You did tell me that you were a competitive hide-and-seeker. Yes, I did, Deborah, and then you totally forgot about it. I'm sorry. Just to be clear, I'm really more of a hider than a seeker. Uh -huh. Yeah, I like to find a good hiding spot, and then I just take a nap. Oh, okay. I'll shut down for s several weeks. <gasps> several and weeks? I wake up, and I'm on a ship. <laughs> yeah, out at sea. That doesn't sound like a very good game. Well, that's why we only play every third Tuesday. Oh, fair enough. Okay, yeah. fine. How about if you just tell us how the game works, Lisa? Okay. Well, I do recommend you fall asleep at sea sometime. It's super <laughs> okay. fun. Okay. Every week, we bring on two grown-ups. Actually, some weeks, we bring on three grown-ups, and then we just put one in a closet and say, hey, wait there. But most times, it's just <laughs> no, two grown-ups. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so one of those grown-ups is an expert. The other is a liar. And the third one, sometimes, is just stuck in a closet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, not it's true. the job of a human child to help us figure out who is who. Because no one gets about a liar better than a kid, we hope. What are we <laughs> lying about today, Deborah? We are lying about lice, tiny insects that feed on the blood of human scalps. Lisa, do you know much about lice? Oh, Deborah, I know so much about lice. I know they're creepy, they're crawly, and they hang out in human hair, which is gross. Uh, why do you guys have so much hair? You should just shave it off. Well, we're, you know, not everyone gets lice, and I, I think that humans are kind of uh, attached to their hair. I don't see why. It's gross. Uh, it looks like tiny worms. <laughs> uh, I think we should all just shave our heads. You should shave your head, Deborah. I'm going to shave your head. <laughs> I got some clippers right here. Oh, we're gonna no. We're going to shave your head. Yeah, let's go. All right. Well, maybe we can talk about that later at the, uh, at the end of the show. But in the meantime, maybe we should meet our human child contestant. Oh, the human child contestant. Yes. All right, maybe I'll shave his head. Uh, oh, no. All right, our human child contestant is a 10-year-old who wants to pursue a career in baseball or coding video games or coding baseball video games. <laughs> Levi Gibbons! Welcome to Pants on Fire, Levi. Baseball and coding, huh? Maybe you could code video games on the off-season of baseball. Does that sound good? You could yeah. do both. Uh -huh. You like that? Yeah. So do you play You play baseball. Mm -hmm. What position do you play in baseball? Usually I play first baseman Ooh. or I play outfield sometimes. And you also have a dog, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yes, tell me about your dog. He's 12, he's huge, and he sleeps all day. And he sleeps all day. Oh, that's like Deborah. I was, oh, very funny. Yeah. Um, and uh, what's his name? Hank. Hank. Shout out to Hank listening at home, right? Hey, Hank, if you're listening, I just want to say uh, you sound really cool and text me sometime. <laughs> <laughs> so I think our listeners would like to know more about you too, Levi. So let's play Two Truths and a Lie. Can you tell us three things about yourself, but two of those things should be true, and one of those things should be a lie, and then Lisa and our listeners can try to guess which one is the lie, and then we'll learn some more things about you. Does that sound good? Mm -hmm. Okay, what are your three facts? Um, I've been to Dubai. Mm -hmm. Dubai. Mm -hmm. I help my mom a lot on her phone. Mm. And 
I'm playing in the Southern California Handball Championships. Handball Championships? Well, I can definitely relate to having a child help me at home with my phone, but I don't know. What do you think, Lisa? All right, let's see. Okay, he's been to a Dubai. That's some sort of shopping store, I guess. No, that is uh, The second one is he uh, helps his mom uh, steal phones. Uh, no phone with phones. And the third one is... He plays uh, with hands in Southern California. Okay, <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, I do not think he's been to Dubai. No? Okay, Levi, which is your lie? Um, I'm playing in Southern California. Oh! oh. You, because you don't play handball? Well, I be... do at my school, but that's just a lie. I'm not... That's just a total lie. Yeah, so you to he lied to us. <laughs> well, we asked him to. All right. I think we're warmed up. What do you think? Yeah. Okay, All good. right, we're ready to shave your heads. No! <laughs> <laughs> Let's shave those heads. <laughs> no. It's so our first expert is Lena Gorelick. Lena, please introduce yourself to Levi. Hi, Levi. My name is Lena Gorelick, and I am the owner of Lice Free Noggins, an all-natural lice removal company servicing New York City and the tri-state area. Thank you, Lena. And now let's meet our second expert, Ruben Zimmerman. Ruben, please introduce yourself to Levi. Hi, Levi. My name is Ruben Zimmerman. I created a product called Lice Pro, which is an organic lice treatment shampoo. And happily, we can report that we are now being sold by Whole Foods. Oh, exciting. Oh, Whole Foods has marshmallows. <laughs> that is very true. <laughs> yeah, marshmallows are the best. So, Levi, what do you know about lice? Do you know much? Yeah, Levi. <laughs> Um, they're like small and they like, crawl around you on your head. Oh. And I've like had it once or twice. You have? Like once. So you have first hand or first yeah. head experience uh-huh. with lice. <laughs> yeah. How was that for you? Was it was it fine? Was it terrible? Uh, it was kind of terrible because I had to take a bath and then like my dad had to like do with like a comb, like comb all of them out. Oh. Yeah, baths are gross. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm feeling a little itchy. Is that some cat scratch fever, Lisa, that you're playing? Oh, no. The, well, one, I released a bunch of lice in the studio. <laughs> uh, two, it's hot seat time. Yes, that's right. That's when we put our experts on the hot seat while they answer Levi's questions. And then Levi tries to figure out who our lousy liar is. Levi, are you itching to get started? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So why don't you go ahead and ask your hot seat questions? Okay. So what do you do uh, every day in your job? Well, every day I try and make Not Deborah you. look a little Not bit better. you. Okay. <laughs> this is for both of you. Perfect. So for me, um, when a client calls saying that they or their child has been sent home with lice or a note saying that someone in their classroom has nits or lice, we come out or I come out or one of our technicians comes out to the client's home. We first check in to see if there are nits or lice present, and if so, we apply a solution that goes on into the hair that works to kill any live lice, and then everything gets combed out with a knit comb, and we make sure the child or the adult is knit and louse free. So it kills the lice, but does it hurt your head? Um, no, I mean, the solution doesn't hurt, and the combing, it, it really depends. If you're tender-headed, it can feel a little bit unpleasant, but to un- in most cases, no one complains. Now, Ruben. Uh, So my regular day, we have a location in Red Hook where we create the Lice Pro shampoo. So there's a chemical compound called pyrethrin, which comes from chrysanthemum flowers. We utilize that. We incorporate a chemical compound that is found in the yucca brevifolia plant, otherwise known as the Joshua tree. And what that does is it creates this shampoo that when you put it on the child's head, it actually suffocates the lice and kills them. And it's just an easier, safer, more eco-friendly way to get rid of lice. So I'm usually down there. I also unfortunately have to do the sales portion where I go to places to try to get them to stock our Lice Pro shampoo. So if we just wore hats with chrysanthemums in it all day, would that that prevent... We, we would all be incredibly safe from lice. Really? <laughs> but, Interesting. Unfortunately, no, it's not just the flowers. It's it's the chemical compounds that are oh. within the flowers. Okay. And this is a safe, organic... Exactly. I see. Yes, because we, we need to save the earth. This is the only one we have. 
So, Lena, what kind of training is required for you to become an expert? That's a great question. Um, there's many different life schools that you could go to where you could spend a couple of days being trained by a professional to um, detect and learn how to comb out the nits and the lice. Can animals spread head lice to people? No, absolutely not. Just like uh, we can catch fleas from animals, animals can't get lice from us. Ruben, what is the shepherd method? The shepherd method, that is when you use some sort of conditioner or tea tree oil and you get the hair all wet and kind of slippery and you use a very fine-toothed comb to comb through the hair to get out the lice and the nits. That's totally wrong. The shepherd method is when you hire a shepherd, come live <laughs> on your head, and guide all the lice to somebody else's head. Get ye gone, you irksome lice. Off to bother another head now. <laughs> Good girl, Bessie. That'll do. I, I don't think that's true. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. What is the difference between lice and nits? So lice are actually the little tiny animals that crawl around and feed on your blood. They live in your scalp. The nit is the sort of eggshell that the, the lice come out of. So Lena, how long does it take for a nit to hatch into lice? It takes approximately seven to ten days before a nit hatches to become a louse. Aww. What are the different forms lice come in? So it starts with a nit, then we have the nymph, and then we have an adult louse, which is the one that can lay nits. And what is your fave? <laughs> Personally, I'm a nit fan, but I know that people are nymph fans. <laughs> How uh how many people about get lice a year? Is this a question for me? Yeah. Uh, it's anywhere from 3 to 12 million people worldwide. Whoa, all those people yeah. on this earth with lice? <laughs> That's a lot of lice. That's a lot of lice. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ruben, how yes. long can lice survive on a human scalp? The life cycle of a adult louse is about 30 days. Uh, Lena, what do lice do when they're not in someone's hair? Head lice actually can't survive without a human host for more than two days. So typically we don't find lice off of the human host. Um, they do thrive on the scalp. Well, yeah, there are 12 million people with this, so they're basically <laughs> yeah. just jumping around from place to place, right? Mm -hmm. Well, they don't really jump. They just oh. crawl from head to head through direct contact. <laughs> right. But I oh. will say, in their free time, they do put on little shows, little Broadway, off-Broadway shows. If you can see <laughs> Hamilton Lice, it's very good. Oh, I'd no. recommend it. I don't think that's true. <laughs> it's time for the short on fire round when our experts have to answer as many questions as they can before time runs out. Lisa will set a timer for the first expert. You bet I will, Deborah. Thanks so much. And then Levi will ask questions until Lisa's timer sounds. You bet he will, Deborah. <laughs> what a sport. Then Lisa resets the timer for our next expert to do the same. Experts, are you ready? They are. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes, absolutely. Great. Levi, let's start with Ruben. Ask your shorts on fire questions now. Which is worse, body lice or head lice? Head lice. What's the first thing you should do when you find nits or lice? You should contact a doctor or get some medicated shampoo. What helps you stop scratching your head? Cut off your hands. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, if you put some tea tree oil, some anise oil, or benzyl alcohol, it will stop the itch and also suffocate the lice. How big are lice? Uh, I mean, they're, they're microscopic. They're about two millimeters. Do lice like light-colored hair better than dark hair? Lice actually prefer the dark hair. Can bald people get lice? Bald people can. It's, it's highly unlikely, but when bald people sort of have like the fringe, like my grandfather had a little fringe, the lice can sort of attach to where the, the hair follicles are coming out. Oh, the time that you had for that? Well, kiss it goodbye because it's done. Time's up. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well done. Now we're going to move on to our next expert for Lena. Start your shorts on fire questions. Now. And hope. How many eggs can females lay every day? Between three and ten. Can Labradoodles spread lice to humans? No. Do lice fly? No. Can lice live underwater? For up to eight hours, yes. 
Can you share socks with someone who has lice? Yes. Are lice more active during the day or at night? Night. How many legs do four lice have? 24. Lavender or peppermint? Peppermint. Can lice live on eyebrows? Yes. Oh, that's it. That's, I'm sorry. I, no more time. We used the time. You can't have it. <laughs> awesome. Okay. All right. It's decision time. Now our contestant, Levi, must consider everything he's heard and come up with his diagnosis. You must consider everything, Levi. Levi, no more Mr. Lice Guy. Are you ready to name our liar? Mm-hmm. Mm. Who do you think is our liar, liar, pants on fire? I think Ruben's the liar. Oh Ruben, gosh. why do you think Ruben is our because liar? Because I feel like Luna was saying the questions a lot faster. She mm. sounded like she knew a lot about it. She sounded confident. Yeah. She mm-hmm. sounded quickly. OK, yeah. let's see. Will our actual lice expert please let us know who you are? I am the lice expert. Oh <laughs> You're <are> right. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's right. Lena Gorelick is the owner of Lice Free Noggins, an all-natural lice removal company servicing New York City and the tri-state area. Fantastic. Well done, Levi. <laughs> Levi, good? do you feel like so good? Are you like, oh my yeah. gosh, I'm the boss? Yeah. <laughs> if you had lost, you would have felt lousy. Are you lousy? You would have been like, ah. Okay, so it's time to do some fact-checking. Lena, was there any misinformation that Ruben shared that you have to quell? Oh, yes. So there was a bunch. <laughs> oh, so <laughs> <laughs> the shepherd method, that's actually a strand by strand picking process, oh. um, not just the general comb out. Performed by a shepherd. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then the ingredient in his organic shampoo is not so organic. Oh. Hyperethrin is actually a super toxic ingredient. Oh, no. And definitely wouldn't want to find that in my organic shampoo. Good to know. And then, which is worse, um, body lice or head lice? I would say body lice just because it's a whole different breed of parasite and it's really difficult to get rid of versus head lice where you could just do the treatment and move on with life. Good. Um, And then there was one more about the hair color preference. Mm -hmm. They do not care about the hair color. As long as you have hair, you are a potential host. And Ruben, what pack of lice have you told today? Uh, Wow, I did tell a lot of lice. Um, (laughs) So yeah, Lena called me out on a bunch of of stuff, but yeah, the the, the Joshua Tree organic compound, that was phony. the chrysanthemum stuff, yeah, that is that's that's toxic. That's not organic. Um, my fake shampoo is not sold at a fake Whole Foods. Um, they do have marshmallows. They do have marshmallows. Though. But Whole Foods is real. Right? Yeah. Whole Foods is absolutely okay. real. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So yeah, yeah. She caught him. She caught. Yeah. She well caught him right. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh! Wow. Really turned it on with the lying, didn't you, Ruben? You know, I figured, why not? <laughs> okay. Well, sadly, that is all the time we have today. But thank you to our contestant, Levi, who's literally and figuratively larger than lice. <laughs> thank you to our expert and liar, Lena and Ruben, for giving us a new lease on lice. And thank you, Lisa, for staying far away from me with those clippers. <laughs> and, of course, many thanks to our listeners tuning in to Pants on Fire, where we learn that if we ask no questions, we'll hear no lice. Pants on Fire is a production of Gen Z Media. For more great shows, visit bestrobotever.com. While you're there, you can send questions for me to read on Ask Lisa and find out how you can participate. And follow us on social media at Pants on Fire Cast for behind the scenes photos and more true facts. Also, Deborah, get ready to shave that. Oh, yeah. <laughs>